Hello, welcome back to the Making Backgrounds uh, video tutorial for Greenfoot, the second part of the tutorial. In the first part I have shown you how to make an image in a graphics program to use as a background for my scenario that I have created here. I have here on the desktop my image file, a JPEG file with a um, desert background and I now want to use that as the background for the scenario. The next step now is very easy. Um, I just right click on my world and I, I choose set image and here I get a dialog that allows me to choose an image to use as the background for my scenario. I have several options. I have here a library of images. So here are various categories um, and I can choose one image and here's the category for backgrounds. There are various prepared backgrounds that I could have chosen but in my case I want to um, choose the image here that I've made myself, not one out of the standard library. So I just say I browse for images which gives me a file chooser. Go to my desktop and here's my desert.jpg file and I select that one. It will be shown up here as the um, image to be used for the class now. And I click OK and the image is shown here in my world. All I need to do now is I need to compile once more and the image is shown here as the background for the world. And there we are. We have a background for this world. I can now um, put actors in it. So if I create a new subclass of the actor um, and let's say I want elephants um, in the desert, I create a class called elephants and then I can, can go to my library, choose an elephant picture. So I go to the animal um, category. Here's an elephant picture. So I take that one um, and I have an elephant here. As soon as I compile I can now create an elephant and put him into the desert or maybe a second one. Here they are and now if I start to program in the elephant I can make them move around and do things. Um, just to um, emphasize the important parts what I've done here is in creating the world and creating the picture I have made sure that the size matches very well. So I have here if we look at the source code um, created a world with these specifications. That means I have 40 by 30 cells is the size of my world where each cell is 10 by 10 pixels um, big. That gives me a world size of 400 by 300 pixels and then I have carefully um, created my image to match exactly that size so that the size here matches exactly the world. If I don't do that um, if I don't match the size exactly, let's say I make the world a bit bigger, I add a few cells, rows of cells um, in both dimensions um, and then I compile this. This is what it looks like. It doesn't look very nice at all. And I now have a larger world and so the image is um, shown in the top left of the world and another copy of the image is shown to the right and another copy is shown below and here so the world gets tiled with this image and images like this don't suit themselves to tiling very well um, so that is not a good thing to do. I'll change that back again and um, fix this and now it all is all nice again. This effect of tiling the background with an image we can uh, use for good purpose uh, if we use a different kind of image and that I will demonstrate in the next part of this tutorial. 